A number of years ago, I was in the nation of Mongolia, and I had a very interesting experience. I went there when there were only a handful of Christians, and, and, and I went there to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I went to a town where at that time there were absolutely no followers of Christ, no believers in Jesus. In fact, most people had never really even heard of Jesus Christ. And, and so I was talking in this town square and sharing Christ, sitting down like I'm sitting down right now on a bench, and I was sharing and people were all around listening. And an old man asked a question. It's a very interesting question. He said, sir, what does your God look like? <laughs> now, how would you answer that question? What does your God look like? I mean, I know what he meant. Was he tall? Is he wide? Or <laughs> is he, what color is he? All of those questions. But this is what I said to him. If you want to know what God looks like, read the Bible. The Bible tells us and explains to us who God is, how He works, what He said, what He's done. And at the very center of the Bible is the person of Jesus Christ. And, and the Bible paints us the most beautiful picture of the revelation of who God is. So if you want to know what God is like, read the Bible. And especially when you read the Bible, read the Bible with an eye on, on seeing Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, you search the scriptures and in them you think you have eternal life. They are those which testify of me. So if you want to know what God looks like, look to Jesus. You'll find him in the scriptures. Second Timothy chapter uh, 3 says this, that all scripture is given by God. And, and it's, it's good for us to correct us, to rebuke us, to teach us, and to train us in righteousness. So read the scripture, you'll find who God is, and you'll find how he wants you to live.